Hi guys. So as the year comes to an end, it's great to reflect on 2017 as a year of ups and a year of downs. I believe that the low point of 2017 has to be within the transgender community in the US. They're really struggling and facing some tough times with the current presidential climate. So let's hope uh, that their rights really do become equal in the future. However, the high of 2017 has to be in, the, in Australia, where they've just legalised and granted gay marriage. How fantastic is that? And it really does show that love does conquer all. Hey, Hugo. <laughs> However, in 2018, there's so many countries in the world that don't have the same gay marriage rights as Australia. So it'd be great to see that they follow suit as well, especially Northern Ireland, UK. However, there's still so much work to be done in 2018 in the LGBT community. Did you know it's illegal or you can even face the death penalty uh, for being LGBT in some countries like Iran or Afghanistan? That is so bad. You know, we should all be equal. It is one world. 2017 has been an absolute amazing year for me. And I just want to personally thank everybody that has supported me on my journey with Mr Gay Europe. I've met some great people, I've made some lifelong friends, and I've worked alongside and supported some brilliant charities. So 2018 holds some really fun, exciting times already. I've got some great travels booked already. So I'm off to Oslo in February, where I'll be discussing my LGBT fostering and adoption plans. I hope to be working in the UK Parliament, again discussing my LGBT fostering and social care plans. So if you want to uh, keep up to date and read the blogs, go on to the mrgayeurope.com website. So from your Mr Gay Europe 2017, Matt Rood, I really do wish you a safe and prosperous 2018. Happy New Year, guys.